How many of you have got an idea where 50% of your revenue is going to come from next 12 months? 5 Half of your revenue is going to come from a client or a range of clients or a particular project. How many of you could say, yep, I know where half it's going to come from? Well, I've just watched Bruce and I thought it was absolutely fantastic. The things that he was telling us to do were really important in my business and that's what I'm going to be trying to do. I thought the session was fantastic because Bruce makes it really easy to remember the key messages by putting everything into a story. You, you can relate back very easily to those different scenarios, really, to put into work, into the workplace. Now you, the only man not laughing is the Irishman. <laughs> Bruce was actually excellent. It's um, a little unusual to have someone of his quality come and actually talk from the bottom up, not the top down. So, uh, you know, a guy who's just been there and done that, and it was just really practical. Uh, stuff you can just take away and put in your business. So I thought it was great. I've really enjoyed Bruce's commentary, it's actually going to change my business life. It's going to add value to my business. That's what we need. They, some of those sound like big company lessons, but you know what? My first job I sold photocopiers for Xerox, and my second job I had my own business with three salespeople selling photocopiers and computers in the 80s. So the interesting thing about my experience is all of those experiences couldn't have happened if it weren't for me being a little guy, a small business once upon a time, because that's where, where I learned the facts. I learned um, a lot of tips to take back into business, um, things that just made me think, you know, really thought-provoking, um, and lots of great stories that will help me remember the points that Bruce made today, which is great. The speech today is very, very informative, and real, real good, good information about how we should actually be doing our jobs, what do we actually do. Uh, a lot of things about leadership and development of the way we should conduct ourselves from a day-to-day -day business. Most people go to work and do what they think they're meant to do. And if you can get people going to work every day and doing what they know they're meant to do, you will change things. And sometimes that means sitting down with them every single day and saying, this is our plan for today. I learned that there's a lot of things that I've stopped doing. Uh, one thing I have certainly learned is that I work really hard with my clients initially, um, and after that I'm sure my performance is entirely underwhelming. Uh, so I really need to turn that around and um, work on that 20% improvement. Very enlightening, uh, very opening and uh, gave me a lot of clarity, especially when I spent a lot of time at the coalface in the business. It's uh, relevant to exactly what's happening in the, in the market and uh, it was good to have a speaker that had an international component. I thought he was excellent. I'm going to change, I'm going to do something different and I'm going to look after my customers. So the interviewer from the BBC is talking to him about the fact that Microsoft is being dragged through the courts yet again for being anti-competitive. And in the middle of the interview, he says something that makes me stop the car and write it down and this is what he said.